Hello everyone, today is going to be a little bit of a story time. I'm going to tell you how I found my first graphic design job. My name is Maria Toka, I'm a freelance graphic designer. While I'll be talking about finding my first job, you can see how I'm designing this punk poster because I like to include my design process in videos like that. So that was a while ago. I don't even want to count how many years ago. Five, six, seven, like straight after uni, I would say. And I'm 30 now, so you can count. Yeah, I was doing my bachelor's degree in graphic design. So I was interested in finding a job straight after uni. And I had zero real experience, no portfolio. I don't know why I was so naive and expected everything to happen was a bit silly of me to be fair because at the same time I was also really scared of not finding a job I heard so many horror stories that so many graphic designers finished uni and never worked in that industry because it's so hard it's so competitive and they couldn't find a job or maybe they didn't want to find a job I don't know why but I definitely heard how difficult it is to find your first job I was really really scared of it I was still studying my last year of uni there was only half a year left to finish it and as you may or may not know in creative industries how this all works instead of normal exams where you need to study something or write a paper you need to complete your design project and to present it in front of and to present it basically you need to print uh, your entire project or several projects depending how many subjects you had on a big sheets of paper on a big sheets of paper and you need to print anything you can print if you designed packaging you need to print the packaging and assemble it and this entire exam period looks like an exhibition of everything that students have done and the exhibition for your final work which is graduation show is the biggest one they do it like an event a lot of guests come visit your uni just to see this as an exhibition obviously it depends every uni does it in a different way but that's what i experienced so why i'm telling you this in a video about a job on one of such shows apparently somebody came there from a local advertising agency which works for a cinema chain and they were looking for a designer it wasn't the final graduation show it was the one before that one and I didn't know about that I, I didn't meet these people I found out only from a classmates they said oh somebody came from that cinema chain they were looking for a designer I said like and you didn't tell me why am I the last one to find out about it and they were like well if you're interested here's their phone number just call them tell them that you want to apply i was like yes of course i'm interested give me their phone number and like i said we still haven't finished uni there was still the last graduation show that our final projects that we had to complete and our dissertation as well so we had a lot of work to do as students which is why i have zero competition nobody else called them and once they gave me their number i called them the same day and said i'm available i'm a graphic designer i want this job and apparently none of my classmates did that even though they had an opportunity and what i've learned that was because we still haven't finished uni and they said those people from the company that they want a designer now they will be a little bit more flexible they will let us finish their education but still we have to start now and everybody was so busy with exams with their final projects with dissertations they just thought oh no i, I have no time for a job right now and that's why i was the only one who actually reached out to them and i did it like right away and they said oh yeah sure just send us your portfolio because you have some real client projects right not, not only students work but i didn't have any real client projects but i said yes of course i i do have can i send it to you tomorrow i just need to assemble it in one folder it'll be easier is it possible to send it tomorrow and they said yeah okay sure and i didn't really have any proper portfolio i only had my student work which i didn't like i didn't think it's a good representation of what i can offer like i honestly didn't like my student projects so basically what i did that night i'm not proud of it by the way but i went on pinterest I found a couple of flyers that I really liked and I just redesigned them. It's 
it's more accurate to say I just copied them. But Pinterest wasn't that popular back then. At least that's what I thought. I thought that no one uses Pinterest and they would never recognize that those designs are copied from Pinterest. So yeah, I just redid them in Adobe Illustrator, I think it was, or Photoshop. Two or three flyers and I made it look like it was made for real clients. I just changed the information on those flyers. And then I assembled a simple PDF portfolio, a couple of students' projects, which I hated the least, which I didn't really like, but they weren't the worst, and sent them. And I think they said something like, okay, yeah, we'll reach out to you in the next weeks at some point. And obviously I really wanted to get that job. I was so excited about it because I thought they're gonna save me from this unemployment after uni, that scary thing. I really didn't want to be just unemployed or just creating business cards for five dollars. It's just something that I, I imagined would happen for a recent graduate with zero experience. And one week went by, two weeks went by and no response. And I already started thinking that Oh, they're probably not interested if they didn't call me, didn't reach out to me. And just in case, just to make sure that they're actually not interested, I called that number again and asked them if they're still looking for a designer. If I don't know if that's an okay thing to do. Probably not, because that was a pretty big company. I just really wanted a job. But they said, surprisingly for me, they didn't say that, oh, we just found another designer or something polite to reject me. They said, oh, we were just really busy with that movie premiere. We really didn't have time for um, considering designers. So we'll reach out soon if we want to contact you. So they just extended this waiting time. And honestly, I don't remember how long it was after that. Probably not really long, like in a few days, they called me again and they said, yeah, we would like to try working with you. So come tomorrow for an interview. And I was so happy. You guys can never imagine. That was my first job and I got it relatively easy. That was such a big company for me because I personally went to their cinemas since childhood. Of course, I would love to work there. I didn't care about the salary. I just wanted to be a graphic designer. And I came to the interview and it was very informal because my boss was very relaxed and chill person. And our design department was a very small team, like five people and she's one who's a leader. So it was more like a friendly conversation. I don't even remember what, what exactly we were talking about, but it's it was definitely not like a typical job interview, very casual and relaxed. Basically she said, okay, so are you ready to start tomorrow? And, uh, and I started next day. That's pretty much it. They gave me about two weeks off to finish my final student project. But other than that, I was just working full time, eight hours a day from nine to six with one hour for a lunch break. And yeah, that was my regular schedule. I worked in an office in open space. I really enjoyed it in the beginning. Well, later in about two months, I already started thinking how to quit it, to be honest. But that's another story. If you enjoyed this one, <laughs> I'll tell you what happened next, why I really wanted to quit it later. And if I ever had another job, I would love to tell you guys that in the next part. But I would like to sum up this story that first First of all, obviously I know that the market is very different now, it's changing every day, every year, but some good principles in searching for a job, I guess that would be applying as soon as possible, as soon as you saw the position. Don't think about how perfect your resume or your portfolio should be, even if you have zero portfolio, just apply. Like even if you think you're not ready, you're ready. You might get a job anyway. And if you're a student, the right thing to do would be to have an internship before that, before you graduate. Internship where you don't get paid, but you get experience. That would be so much more helpful. I wouldn't be so stressed and so eager to get that job if I had at least a little bit of experience. 
but I didn't. Like in my uni it wasn't required to do internship. I know that some universities make it mandatory, which is good, I think. Or if you're a freelancer, if you didn't study design, if you self-taught, you can gain this experience from freelance projects. But again, if you see a job and you don't have enough experience, you can just fake it. I don't know if that's a bad advice. Of course, I don't advise copying anything from Pinterest. Nowadays, I think it would be so obvious. But you can take any of your old projects and you can tweak it and make it look like it's recent. You can make it look like it's for a real client. And it's actually not that hard to get at least a couple of projects from real clients in your portfolio. Even if you don't really get clients, you can just offer someone a redesign for free of a, a very small fee even if they don't want to. I don't think they, they're gonna say no. Just ask your friends, relatives, whoever you know that might potentially need a redesign. No one would say no to a free design. Obviously try to do it for money first. That, that's the last option if nothing else works. And you only need like a couple of projects, that will be enough. And if you think that it's worth going to a design school only for that opportunity, that some people will come to the university looking for designers, and that's how you can find a job. That's a really expensive way to get your first job. So if you didn't see my video about design degree, I speak a lot more about that. My conclusion whether it's worth it or not, but spoiler alert, it's not. If, if that's the only reason that there are other ways to find a job. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. Let me know if that was interesting and if you want part two, I'll definitely make it for you. And if you liked my design, of this punk poster also let me know i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more and see you guys next time bye